I would suggest that that our producer Laura is a is a big Katie Zellman fan. I think she wants Katie Zellman in every single game. Which I, you know, I, I, to be fair to Katie Zellman, I thought she was she was excellent when she did play. Um, but is you know, it's not sort of a like for like replacement for two and all James. I think that's that's the issue that that Serena Beekman faces. I mean, I'm a huge fan of, of Chloe Kelly. Um, I think you know the fact that she only came on for a couple of minutes at the end the other day is, is such a shame when you, you consider the quality that she has and the things that she's done in an England shirt. Um, but obviously, again, then that would mean a sort of a change of formation, reverting back to that 4-3-3, um, which is perhaps something that Serena Beedman might look at. And then, you know, you can have Hemp and, and Russo up top with Kelly coming in. Um, but again, that sort of more advanced midfield role, the obvious replacement is Toon. You know, I was rooting for her. I was really, really rooting for her against Columbia. And I think it was a, a real opportunity for her to sort of kickstart her tournament. And she didn't have a horrendous game, but, you know, I think struggled to have that explosive impact that we saw when she came on as a substitute at Euros. We've, we've not seen the best of her, I don't think. I think at club level, you know, obviously Manchester United has a great season, but in terms of Toon's personal form, you know, I don't think last season was her best season by any stretch either. So, um, yeah, I think it depends how much Serena Beekman believes that Toon can get back to that best form. Um, I think Katie Zellum is, is maybe slightly more defensive. And then if you've got a midfield of, of Stanway, Walsh and, and Zellum, it is that too um too defensive? Do you need a more attack minded player in there? Do you bring in Laura Coombs as uh, Serena did when uh Kira Walsh went off in that in that game against um who did it was it Denmark that Kira Walsh got injured, but um yeah, it's a real tough one. I think that's one area of the pitch where England aren't particularly well well stocked. You've got I mean, don't forget when we were coming into this tournament, we were thinking of Lauren James maybe more as a winger as opposed to a number 10. So, you know, again, Toon is England's sort of most conventional number 10. Um, and I'm not sure what the answer is. I would love her to find the best fall again. Um, I would love her to, to have a brilliant game against Australia. Um, and I think because Serena has, has placed a trust in her, I think it's actually between the, the Euros finishing and the World Cup starting, no other player may played more minutes for England than Ella Toon. So I think that speaks volumes about how Serena Beekman views her and relies on her and trusts her. But it's whether, you know, the last, the last week's performance did enough to convince Serena of, of her ability. 